Yeah, Admiral, um, you said that the United States doesn't want a second front, um, and you also said that Israel has a right and responsibility to go after the Hamas leadership, but isn't, isn't the United States and the President, aren't they exactly widening and escalating this, given the fact that the U.S. is supporting uh, chasing Hamas leadership outside of Gaza. I mean, the fact that it's going into Lebanon, a sovereign nation. Well, again, your, your question is presuming an awful lot and is presuming that I said things I didn't say. I, I'm not, right here, I'm right not confirming that the, that the, the Israelis took this airstrike. Um, I would refer you to them to speak to their military operations. I did. Nevertheless, I'm not confirming that they, that they, that they took this strike. They have a right and responsibility to go after Hamas leadership, and we expect that they'll do that in accordance with international law. Uh, nothing's changed about the fact that we don't want the conflict to widen. I mean, heck, my opening statement was four or five pages worth of talking about all the kind of capabilities that the president's putting in the region to prevent that very outcome. Okay, so let me follow up on that then. Given the Red Sea patrols, uh, we knew in advance of those being set up that the Iranian defense minister said very clearly, nobody can make a move in a region where we have predominance. The United States knew that, set it up anyway. Is that not being seen as a provocation? If you know that Iran sees that as a provocation, you take the action anyway. Oh, well, that certainly turned things on our upside down, isn't it? W wouldn't, wouldn't you consider provocation launching ballistic missiles and, and drones at commercial? Wait, 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 wait let, me, let me finish. <laughs> Wouldn't that be considered a provocation? Taking, targeting innocent merchant shipping and innocent merchant sailors? That's a provocation. What we're doing, what Prosperity Garden is all about, you can go on web, you can look at it. It's a defensive posture. It's a coalition of the willing of maritime nations coming together to try to protect international shipping, shipping that affects the global escalation economy. Escalation, because in turn, what has no, happened no, is, man. so you're denying I, then that there has I, been an escalation I, since the Red Sea Patrol. I totally disagree with the premise of your question. Okay, it wasn't the United States who decided to attack commercial shipping in the Red Sea. The Houthis did that. And who are the Houthis backed by? Iran. As I've said before, Iran provided the missiles that the Houthis are using. We are simply in a defensive posture to try to protect that commercial shipping. And we have in the last 48 hours. Since then there's been an escalation. Now Iran has launched a frigate into that. So there has been an escalation. Okay. Again, let me stop you. The fact that they... Has the United, I ask you again, has the United States' actions supported an escalation as a result? No. You said that the press... Your words said... You asked me a question, ma'am, I answered it. No. You said nothing the president has ordered has been designed to widen or deepen this conflict. I stand by my answer. No. Okay, we got to move on. Thank you, Danny.